Okay, I'm going to try to show you. Let's start with the sweep. So the sweep, if we can see the sweep back here, is cut back. Can you see right here how this is cut back? And the whole, it's not that this whole sweep had moved somehow because we can see that it, the sweep extends to here. This is where it was cut, trimmed to the end of the glass and then a notch put here. And try closing the door. Okay, door closes. So consequently, what we have is a hole right here. See that hole? Look at that. I'm going to stick my finger right through that hole. Here I am. I'm inside the tub. Okay. So that little notch that he's got in there for whatever reason that that was cut back is the problem. We're now looking at the other door. Okay, we're on the other side of the tub looking at the other door and we see a similar notch put in that one. Same as the problem one. And we can see what he was doing you can see how he just wants to clear that jam. Same problem though here. If we go down and take a look, that opens an opportunity for another hole. It's pretty obvious what happened here. He's got the jam installed backwards. This flat part that's against the wall should be on the outside. And this part here that's sticking up, this part here, this should be on the inside facing this way. He's got the, the jam backwards. It makes absolutely no sense whatsoever that they would want you to put a notch in the sweep and introduce a hole going out when you could have the sweep go all the way up against the wall and have no hole going out. In fact, I got the instruction sheet from the manufacturer and nowhere does it ever mention anything about cutting a notch in the sweep. Sergio just made that part up himself. It would have to be obvious to any reasonable person that that's the way that it's supposed to be. That's the way the manufacturer wants you to do it. It's obviously a better way to do it. In other words, this piece here that sticks out and this piece here that's flat against the wall, flip this around. So the flat piece against the wall is on the inside and this piece that sticks out is on the outside. Then when you close the door, you don't need the clearance Because this part of the sweep could go to the wall and this part of the jam would be out there on the other side. The reason that's an obvious way to do it is because both of these sweeps face inside the tub. This sweep and this sweep both face the inside of the tub. So much like we have here on this door, you can see you don't need any notch. See here, the flat part, just the opposite of that other door. The flat part against the wall is on the inside. The part that sticks out is on the outside. That's how both of these should be on both sides because the sweeps are both facing in. So when the door closes, it doesn't have to clear the door jam. Now what he did here is completely wrong. You can't have it both ways. You can't have the jam 
put in in this position and cut this out that <laughs> yeah now let's look at the door and how the door closes when we close the door as far as it will go that's as far as it'll go it's not even clearing the just barely it's about even with the outside of this jam and it may be hard to see I'll try to pan up as you go up the door gets closer and closer see how the glass gets closer and that is why it's fully closed right here the door is fully closed the glass is up uh, all the way inside the jam and then as we come down it widens 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 let's go inside the tub and I'll show you that okay so what I'm talking about here is fully closed this might be hard to see but there's a small gap here that as we continue down you will see this gap get bigger and bigger until it's so big I can stick my finger in there now. Okay. I think you can even see the angle on that glass. But then take a look at this. As we go down, you see this glass getting wider and wider, this piece. And as we get down to the bottom, here's, there's our hole. Look at that. I know you can see that. This is with the door fully closed. Completely closed. And so now just as a case in point, I know it's hard to see on video, but I just took a shower with this door fully closed and I even had a rag down here. And uh, I mean, okay, that's, you know, I mean, something's not right here. <laughs> something's definitely, this ain't good. So now let's look at the the other door again. This is the opposite one. I don't know if you can see the gap. Here's here's the glass and here's the wall. Okay? Here's the glass. <laughs> it's like not even close. And again, as we go down, here's the glass. Might be hard to see. The wall is here. We got a gap. Here it's not even clearing the jam. There's there's an air gap there. And then as we come down, that gap gets smaller and smaller until down here where the door closes. Now another thing that seems a little weird to me, which is probably related to this whole door thing, is, you know, the fact that, look, you know, this wheel is tight, and this wheel is loose. Why is that? That can't be right. And these things, these wheels, <clears throat> There's actually a special wrench that comes with this door to, uh, if I should ever need to take this thing apart for whatever reason or look at, try to fix something like this. Sergio didn't give me that wrench. He took all these the special tools, which I paid for when I bought this shower door. He took all that with him.
He didn't give me anything. So I'm kind of screwed as far as ever having to remove this thing or work on it for whatever reason. Uh, I'd have to go back to the factory and buy the toolkit. I don't know. Why wouldn't he give me the, why wouldn't he give me that stuff? And so the last thing that happened, just as Sergio was leaving, I went to close the door and it wouldn't close because you see how this piece of the jam sticks out. We're talking about this piece here, right? Sticks out of the wall. So there's also a little piece right here on the sweep, which was hitting that piece of the jam. The reason is he put the door jam in before he put the sweeps on. And at first it was just hitting right there. You can see how that would happen. And I showed it to him. He said, well, that's no big deal. You just grab the door and just shove it in there. But then he went to close this other door and he couldn't even get it in because of course we have the same thing here. Another piece right here. And that one was hitting so bad he couldn't close the door. So that's when he moved, he had to move these two pieces these two door jams. Now, logic would dictate that this is really the last piece that you should be putting in. This door jam should really be the last piece to go in.